Hello and welcome to Cowkind TV. I'm James Preston and you're watching The Early Trades, a show where we take a look at the Australian share market opening trade scenario along with the global and domestic drivers triggering the market momentum. We'll take a look at prominent stocks during the early trades in addition to how oil, gold and metal indices have performed. But let's start with how early morning trades panned out based on cues from the Wall Street action overnight. The Australian share market opened lower on Tuesday morning. The ASX 200 dropped 0.7% ahead of the Reserve Bank of Australia's cash rate decision later in the day. The benchmark equity index is weighed by the overnight sell-off on Wall Street due to renewed US and China trade tensions and inflation concerns. On Monday, the benchmark index rose by 1.3% to 7,278.5 points. A number of ASX-listed companies will be paying dividends to their shareholders on Tuesday. The firms include Atlas Arteria Group, Cleanaway Waste Management, NIB Holdings and also Seek. The top gainers of the day on the ASX during opening trades are Redbubble, Silver Lake Resources, Oil Search, Santos and Origin Energy. In terms of the bottom performers, those are IDP Education, Afterpay, Zipco, Altium and also Appen. On Wall Street, the Dow Jones dropped by 1%. The S&P 500 fell by 1.3% and the Nasdaq slipped by 2.1%. Let's now take a quick look at the prominent ASX shares during the early trades. The first company on our list today is engineering group Worley Limited, which has been awarded a two-year extension to provide engineering and construction management support to Woodside's Carafa gas plant in Pluto LNG project. The initial contract was awarded three years ago and the share price of Worley was trading at $9.95 Australian during opening trade. And the next company to take a look at is Evolution Mining. They've agreed to sell their Mount Carlton gold mine to Navare Minerals. The total deal is worth $90 million Aussie dollars, comprising of $40 million in equity, $25 million in royalty payments, and also $25 million tied to gold production. The share price of Evolution Mining was trading at $3.65 during opening trade. Moving on now to the next company, which is Adbury Limited, which has granted its chief, Nick Miller, an incentive bonus worth $1.5 million Aussie dollars. Miller joined Adbury as chief executive officer in late January 2019. The board also agreed to a golden parachute, equaling the same value should he be removed from his role. The share price of Adbury was trading at $3.17 Aussie cents during opening trade. Washington H. Sol Patterson and Co. Milton shareholders have received SOL shares as the merger between the two local investment groups has now been finalised. The merger has created a diversified investment group with access to a range of asset classes. The share price of Washington H. Sol Patterson was trading at 37 Aussie dollars and 74 cents during opening trade. And the last stock to take a look at today is ADX Energy, which has signed a memorandum of understanding with Wincraft Simonsfield AG to supply green electricity and joint development of a green hydrogen production and underground storage project. Both the parties are well positioned to provide safe, reliable, long-term supply of green hydrogen. ADX will manage the marketing and sale of green hydrogen and the share price of ADX Energy was trading at 0.9 cents during opening trade. Time now for a very short break before we take a look at bond yields, oil and more on Calkine TV. Tune in to stay updated while on the move. We will tell you where the crypto craze has reached. Where the property market is headed next. What the world is doing to become more environmentally friendly. Apart from tracking the daily market charter. Be on top of the latest news and announcements with Calkine TV. Welcome back to Calkine TV. I'm James Preston and this is The Early Trade, where we take a look at how trading has unfolded throughout the morning session, as well as all the important information from overnight. Let's now take a look at bond yields, crude oil, gold and metals indices. U.S. Treasury yields rose on investor caution over the need to raise the government's debt ceiling as the U.S. faces the risk of a historic default in two weeks' time. 
Bond yields rose as the market fretted about the debt ceiling, social spending bills and hurdles with infrastructure legislation. The yield on 10-year, I should say, US Treasury notes rose 1.5 basis points to 1.4824% after trading above 1.5%. In the currency space, the dollar weakened from last week's one-year highs as investors looked ahead to the release on Friday of September employment data, which could signal when the Federal Reserve begins to taper asset purchases. Also, the dollar index fell by 0.15%, to hit 93.805. In the crude oil space, crude oil prices rose after reports that the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, or OPEC, and its allies would stick to their current output policy instead of boosting supply. Brent crude futures finished up at 81 US dollars and 26 cents a barrel, while US crude rose to 77 US dollars and 62 cents a barrel. Energy stocks such as Woodside Petroleum were trading higher during early trading, whereas Santos edged a little higher as well during the early session on Tuesday. In the yellow metal space, gold jumped to over its one-week high on the weaker US currency. In addition, the risk of off-sentiment in equity markets boosted demand for the safe haven metal. Spot gold was up by 0.3% at 1,764 US dollars and 92 cents per ounce, and U.S. gold futures added 0.5% to trade at 1,767 U.S. dollars and six cents. ASX listed gold stocks such as Northern Star Resources were seen in the green during early trading. Newcrest Mining was also trading higher during the opening trade on Tuesday. And in late trading on Wall Street, the U.S. Senate prepared to vote on a bill passed in the House of Reps that would extend the U.S. debt limit to December 2022, eliminating one deadlock in Congress that has unsettled investors. Earlier, President Joe Biden said a planned U.S. $3.5 trillion social spending bill that was stalled last week in Congress will now be made smaller, and that will be much lower than his progressive Democrats would have liked, but it should manage to avoid any further impasse. Well, that's all for now on Early Morning Trades. Stay tuned to Calkine TV as we have many more shows lined up for you, sharing our latest updates across the economy, markets and diverse themes and sectors. I'm James Preston, signing off for now.